Okay, so it is 8 p.m. on Sunday, August 1st, 2021, and in two months' time, I will no longer be a resident of San Francisco. Let's talk about this. Don't really know where to start, but I guess enough with the theatrics. Um, I guess I can give a little bit of backstory into what exactly is going on. This channel has been about San Francisco since its inception. I've talked extensively about what it's like to live here, what it's like to grow up here, and I'm happy to have given people these videos so that they can learn a little bit more about this city because I still think it's just the best place in the world to live. That being said, I will be leaving. Throughout the last couple months, um, I've asked myself many, many times the question of, do I even deserve to live here? Is it my right to continue to live where I was born? That's a tough question. <laughs> I can't answer that right now. But what I can do is give my personal experience about what I've been going through the last few months and basically tell my story of how a lifelong San Franciscan found himself willingly, willingly packing his bags and moving to a new city. So here's how it all happened. So starting back in April of 2021, this is back when I was releasing a few videos for the channel, as you know, and I was really excited to start making more. And then everything kind of just dried up. And that was because I took that time off to try and find a place for myself uh, and my wife. We went down the rabbit hole of house hunting because I think what we wanted to do at this point in our lives was find a place to live permanently. I think very early on it was it was pretty apparent that we couldn't stay in the city. Like, you know, I'll, I'll say it right now, if you're not rich, it's impossible to buy a home in San Francisco. And so I won't go too much in depth into the house hunting part just because I think I'll probably make a different video, a separate video talking about what it was like to find a home in the Bay Area. Um, but this video right here is to kind of talk about just the overall feeling of, of moving uh, and going from San Francisco for 30 plus years to a completely new place. The idea of leaving San Francisco itself is not what really excited me about this, um, but it was more about the opportunity and the chance to experience something completely new and different and to kind of move my life forward, kind of change my perspective on who I am and what I hope to get out of life and where I live. And, and I hope that one, I enjoy it, um, and I hope that, two, you do as well. Because one of the biggest things that I was afraid of was that if I didn't live here in San Francisco and continue to make videos about it, talking about the great stuff that happens here and the things that you can do, that people wouldn't take me seriously. That maybe in some way I would be guilty of impersonating somebody who knew all this about San Francisco and was passionate about the city rather than somebody who actually was because they live here. But I mean that's obviously something that didn't stop me from, from doing it. Um, I will be leaving. Uh, the, the clock is kind of just ticking at this point. But I hope that, you know, for you guys watching that you can continue to, you know, listen to my work and watch my videos and believe in the passion that I have for the city because that has not left. Um, me physically, yes, I am no longer going to be physically in the city of San Francisco, but you know, my heart is, oh god, I can't believe I'm saying this, but my heart is still going to be here. Big question, where the hell am I going? The obvious and yet not so obvious answer is the East Bay. However, it's not Oakland. It's not Richmond. It's not San Leandro, it's not Castro Valley, it's not Albany, it's not Berkeley, it's not Alameda, it's not any of these cities. It's the one city in the East Bay that you probably have never even thought about, and I didn't either until I decided to move there. 
I'm going to San Pablo. It's a city that I'm excited to, to experience and I'm excited to see a city that has a much different pace to it. Excited to see somewhere different and you know, I'm not trying to throw shade at San Francisco in any way. You know, I just think that change is good. I think back to my grandfather, and he grew up in a tiny little town alongside the Sacramento River called Isleton. And this town probably has less than a thousand people living in there. But after World War II, he decided that he didn't want to stay there anymore. It was a way for him to kind of build something new, which was, for him, family. I'm not saying that that's exactly why I decided to leave, but his story kind of inspired me to not be afraid of, of leaving somewhere that you know and to try something different for you know the sake of yourself and for your loved ones. I think that's important to at least try once in your life. If I have any advice for people who are leaving or looking to leave uh, or maybe don't want to leave or are scared to go somewhere else, I can't say that it's a good idea yet because I haven't done it yet, but there's just so much to kind of experience in life that I don't think a single change in where you live is going to turn everything on its head. Uh, I think it's just one small step in a greater, you know, you're, you're basically what I'm saying, life is long, but also incredibly short at the same time. So taking things just one step at a time and approaching moving to a new city like a little step. If I can do it, if I can spend my entire life here in the city and willingly get up and leave, I th you, you can do it too. If you want. Only if you want. Well, for one thing, we'll definitely be leaving uh, a city that has a lot of modern conveniences that you can't really get anywhere else. Uh, People try to tell me that, like, yeah, you can you can experience all about San Francisco in other cities. What are you talking about? This is nothing special. This is not. You can't find another neighborhood like the Richmond or, you know, North Beach or the Marina or the Sunset or the Castro. They're only here in San Francisco. And I think that's the main thing I'm dreading about going somewhere else is not being able to see that as often, even though I can still come back into the city, but it's going to be much more difficult to to experience these neighborhoods on a regular basis. And as far as the channel, I know you guys are probably worried that this whole thing will be completely different in a month's time, but I still want to tell stories about San Francisco and talk about how great it is and, you know, uncover all the cool little things about here. So I think I'm going to have to figure out slightly different methods to, to tell these stories. I can see myself making maybe uh, more videos that aren't specifically about San Francisco and maybe about the whole Bay Area, which I, in my opinion, I think that's good. You know, there's millions of people that live in this area and only 700 or 880,000 of them live in San Francisco. What about everyone else? And I guess the last question that I'll answer in this video is, will I be back? Of course. Moving out of the city, like I said, is just a small step in the greater timeline of what I'm going to be doing in my life. And yeah, I will be back. That's not even like a maybe question, or that's not even really a maybe, or even a I want to do it, you know? It's it's more like, yes, I will be. I will, I will find a way to come back and live here. And when that happens, it's going to be so much fun. Sorry, I've just been rambling this entire video, but all I can ask right now is that I have your guys' support in this new you know, chapter in my life and you know, moving on to the second act. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, do the whole like and subscribe thing down below. I don't really care right now. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys hear this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next spot.